Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are in episode number 220 and we're going to be going over the Flex Slider module. As always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to check out the Code Karate Patreon page where you can support CodeKarate.com. So the Flex Slider module is one of the many modules in Drupal that you can use if you need to take a collection of images and allow uh, your users of your website to flip through them or slide through them. This is great for home pages. It's great for potentially product displays if you're building a commerce or e-commerce type website. Anywhere where you have a group of images and you want your users to be able to easily flip through them, this is a great use case for the Flex Slider module. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're on the Flex Slider page and one of the important things to realize is this Flex Slider module utilizes the Flex Slider library. And what this means is you have to actually download this as well as the libraries module in order to make it all work. If we take a look at the libraries API, you can see this libraries module is it's currently in an alpha status, but it does seem to be working. I haven't had any issues with it. But you're gonna need this downloaded as well as the flex slider downloaded and as well as the flex slider module which or excuse me the flex slider library which is available here from github which or you can download it through a zip but you're going to want to make sure that's on your website so if you take a look you can see that on my test website i already have the flex slider module and the libraries module installed. So there's Flex Slider, as you can see, and here's the libraries module. If we take a look at the README that comes with Flex Slider, it tells you all the installation steps. It gives you a link to the actual GitHub page where you can download Flex Slider. We'll go ahead and take a look at that here in just a second. But on top of that, it also tells you how you can download this using Composer. So again, I always recommend downloading and installing your modules and libraries using Composer. Makes it very easy to manage your dependencies. So if you're going that route, you have to follow these uh, four steps here and it's very uh, straightforward. Just go ahead and follow the instructions and you'll be able to get it installed with, with the library uh, using Composer. So if we go to this GitHub page, just so you can see the current version, the current version we are looking at is if you scroll down 2.7.1 again you're going to want to come and look at this if you're using composer because you're going to want to know that current version number let's go ahead and get started assuming you already have it all installed and ready to go if you look at the modules there are four modules that come with flex slider we're going to be looking at the flex slider view style and the flex slider fields the view style is useful if you want to create a view that flips through content. This in our case is going to be images, but it doesn't have to be images. It can be any kind of content you want. The fields are is where you can turn an image field that maybe has multiple images attached to some content into a, a flex slider on that content. So let's look at the view first. Before we do though, let's take a look at content types that I've created for this. I created an image slider content type. I made it really simple just to, so it uh, gives, a, gives a good example of what we can do. All I have in here is the body field that comes with a normal content type, a slider image, which is just a basic image field, and I do have a slider link, which we're probably not even going to use, but just so it can show that you can have multiple fields there. And you could use core media. You don't have to use an image field. I would probably recommend using core media, but for this example, I just use an image field to keep it really simple. And the other option here is, uh, once you have that, is to then create the view where it's going to be displayed. You can do this as a block view or a page view, depending on how you need it to be displayed on your site, but we're going to go ahead and create a page view uh, just to showcase how this all works. I'm going to call it slideshow here. I'm going to show content of type image slider and I'm going to create a page. We can just leave it called slideshow. 
And for my display format, I'm going to select Flex Slider, which wouldn't have been available if the module wasn't enabled. And you could, again, this is where I talked about it, it doesn't have to be just images, it could be uh, content, videos, anything else, any kind of content you want can be in this Flex Slider. So you could have a Flex Slider of teasers where it would maybe show certain posts you wanted. In this case, I'm going to select fields. I'm not going to use a pager because, well, Flex Slider kind of already is a pager in itself. And I'll leave it at 10 items to display, but you could, of course, change this. Click Save and Edit. And I'm just going to do two things. If you're not familiar with views, you should be able to follow along. Um, but you might want to learn a little bit more about views first. All I'm going to do is change the field that's getting displayed here. So rather than a title field, I want to display our image field. So I'm going to find the slider image field. This is the one that appears in this content type. And I'm going to add this. What I'm going to do after I'm adding this is select what image style I want to use. I'm going to use the flex slider full image style. This is something that comes with the flex slider module when you turn it on. And we'll look at what that is here in just a second. I can choose if I want to link my image to something. I'm not going to. I'm not going to create a label. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this title field for now. So if I click apply, then I click save, I should have a page here that I can view. And I did create two different uh, pieces of content. So there should be some slide or images in here. So here's one piece of content. You can see there are two here. And you can see it flips through. You'll notice there is a little, uh, some CSS things here, but if you're in the theme at all, or you can customize the CSS, a little CSS customization can fix, uh, fix some of this. Uh, but it, it, it just works, right? You, you, you drop it in, you have a slideshow here, and there are some settings that control how this actually looks, and we can configure those. But before we do, let's look at that image style. So if I go to configuration, media, image styles you can see the two image styles that come with flex slider the first is flex slider full if we look at that you'll see it scales and crops it to 800 by 500 you can change this or you can of course use a different image style if you'd like the other one that's important is flex slider thumbnail and i'll show you why in just a little bit but you can change that and you can see that the flex slider thumbnail scales it and crops it to 160 by 100. But let's look at what the flex slider settings have available because not every slideshow you create is going to be set up the same way. You might want to configure how long it takes before it automatically slides between images and customize a few other things. So under configuration media, you'll notice there's a flex slider option. And you can see in this flex slider settings, there are uh, so there's a list of option sets. There's also some advanced settings here. So if you go to advanced settings, you can see you can load the CSS that comes with Flex Slider. You can uh, enable debug mode, but you shouldn't really need to mess with those. If you go to the list, you can see there's a default option set. And the reason you might need different option sets is if you had different slideshows and you wanted them to be configured differently. Maybe you had a slideshow on one page you wanted to automatically flip through every five seconds in a slideshow on another page you didn't want to automatically flip through at all so you had different settings you wanted to configure. Let's look at this default settings here for this default option set and you'll see what I'm talking about. So it has a name, it has your general slideshow and animation settings which includes if you want your fade or slide animation, the animation speed, the direction, the slideshow speed which is the speed of the automatic cycling. So it'll every uh, 700 or 7,000 milliseconds or seven seconds, it'll, it'll actually flip through to the next slide. You can have it randomize the slide order, loop the slideshow. There's a whole bunch of different settings here and they're pretty self-explanatory if you read the, the description below it. You can allow paging controls, which that's the little dots on the bottom. You could turn those on or off. You can also enable thumbnails, which is kind of a cool thing. So we'll show you what that is. You can allow thumbnail captions if you want. There's a couple other different settings here, and then you have your advanced options. So I'm just gonna change this to thumbnails. 
Again, the advanced options, we don't really need to change anything in, but you can read through those and see what they do. So let's go back to our slideshow page. And you're gonna notice that it hasn't changed yet. It still looks the same. So if we edit the view, you can find out why. In our flex slider settings, which is right here, it's looking for the caption field. And if you read this, this is required to use thumbnail captions. It's also required if you just want to be able to use the thumbnails in general. So what we want to do for this caption field is let's go ahead and add that title back in because that's just serves as a little caption at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to select the title and I want to make sure that I'm excluding it from display. I'm also not going to have a link, but it actually doesn't matter since I'm excluding it from display anyways. I'll show you why. Um, this just makes sure that it actually doesn't show up in the slider, but it can be used in the settings right up here. So I click on the settings, find the caption field, the title, click apply. Now if I save this and I come back, you can see I now have thumbnails at the bottom. Maybe these thumbnails are a little big for you, but that's where you can go into that uh, flex slider thumbnail image style and just change the size. Just make them smaller, bigger, however you want. But you'll notice if I click on the image, it selects that image in the slideshow. So that's pretty cool. It also has the caption here. You may have to use some CSS to adjust how you want this to be displayed on your site. But again, it's very easy to set up and get working out of the box. The next thing we're gonna look at is the flex slider fields module. So I do have another content type and I called this one image post. And basically I want it to be like a blog post, but I want the top to have uh, a slideshow of different images that you can go through. So if I look at this, you will notice that I have a field that's post, it's called post images and I made it a multiple image field. So I made it so you can upload multiple files. So when I created it, you can see under field settings, the allowed number of values is set to unlimited. And that way I can upload multiple images. If, you, if I go to content, you can see I did create an article about image slideshows. This is the name of the title. And it has three images in it has some content as well and it's set up to work so if I click Save and I go to that page you'll see that I've already configured it to use a slideshow and it has some content below but this would be if you wanted to send someone and have an image slideshow embedded in actual piece of content so how did I get the images to work this way well it actually is very simple under structure content types, I'm going to go to that image post content type and I'm going to go to manage display. And under manage display, all I did was move post images up above the body and change the format from image to flex slider. So any of your image fields will now be able to be formatted as flex sliders and you can then change it to select what image style you want to use. So if you wanted to use something else, you could use that. To what option set you want. That way, if you wanted your, your slideshows to work differently, the ones on this, you know, these articles that I'm creating could be a different setting so than maybe the slideshow on my homepage, which is maybe that page that I created. You can also choose a caption source and you can do a couple other things here. But all you need to do is save it and then back at that content, of course, now the image goes from just a static image field to your flex slider. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. I hope you learned a little bit about the flex slider module and how to make images on your website come to life, or at least come into slideshows. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you check out the other videos on CodeKarate.com, check out the Patreon page, and we'll see you next time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Goodbye.